Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Philip Fowler with Anti-Aging Northwest, and in this uh, brief video today, we are going to go through two tricks to get thick testosterone oil out of the vial and into tiny little uh, insulin syringe, okay? So if you just pull out your testosterone vial and go ahead and try to draw it with a syringe, the thick oil is not going to go into this fine 29 gauge needle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pressurize the vial. And the way we're gonna do that is by drawing air into our syringe, a full milliliter. We're gonna go into our vial, and we're gonna press that air in, and we're gonna do that eight times. So there's one, two, three. I should have done it like five times before we started four, five, six. One way we'll know that we've got enough air in there is the plunger will move up by itself. There's seven. Plunger's not moving up by itself yet. And here is eight mils. Well, we're going to go with 10 on this one. Just getting enough pressure in there that the, the plunger should push itself up. It's starting to get there. And the other thing we're going to do to make sure that we can get the testosterone to move from the vial into the syringe is we are going to... There, it's starting to go up by itself now. Um, we're going to pull all the way back to 100 when we draw rather than just to 50, which is its average dose, would be 50 units on this syringe, which is a half milliliter. There you go. It's starting to go up on its own now. We'll put one more in there. Now, obviously, when you do this, maybe not obviously, but when you do this, you have dulled this needle significantly. This needle is no longer good for anything. As you can see, the plunger is now moving up on its own due to the pressure in the vial. Okay. So once you've done this with, with this particular syringe, this syringe is now garbage. So when I go to draw, rather than only, let's say my dose is 50, I'm not going to pull to 50 and wait. I'm going to pull all the way to 100 and wait. And then I'll come up here and check. Okay, I've got 0.4. Pull back down to 100. I'm going to wait some more. And there's 0.52. I'm going to push a little back in. There's my 0.5, nice and even. Pull my vial off, get my air out, and I'm ready to inject. All right, I hope that's helpful. Obviously, we'll have a little video call to go over this, but uh, it's a great place to start. Thanks so much, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.